the sound of silence, the birds in the trees, magnificent blue sky, crystal clear water, unseasonably clear. You might snap it down here having a cast into the deep water, give us a big wave, snapper. He's about to show us how it's done in the background. <laughs> the smell of fresh cow shit over there on the, on the grass. And some bastard was out here last week and left the gate open, I was just talking to the farmer. That is how you get locked out of these magnificent places. This is private property. I've gone, I've had a chat, I've had a laugh, I've heard all about the old mate's big bull that rammed him with his big horn years ago. He's a great fella. This is private property. People come out here, they leave their rubbish, they leave their gate open. The next time I come out, I say, they say, sorry mate, you're not allowed on. So if you're on private property, respect the property and look after it. Now to the river report, have a look at that. I can see probably five feet into the water here. This is the Ovens River, just upstream of Wangaratta. It is really, really clear. It's way clearer than what it ever is this time of year. That's why we're getting a last minute fish in. Brett's having a cast. Once I finish blabbering on, I'm gonna have a cast for an hour or so to see if we can pick up a cod. The Murray cod season closes at midnight this Sunday night. The trout season does not open to the following Saturday. So next week, there's not a lot of fishing. Now yeah, well, the river's looking. They are looking absolutely super. They're all looking super. The ovens is looking super. The king's looking fantastic. The key where I was up there the other day, it's looking mint. The midamid is looking really good. I was at Dartmouth last week and that whole area is looking great. Too good for this time of year, like I said last week, but hey, let's just lap it up. It's 21 degrees. Why would you not want to be down the river at the moment? There's never been a better time to get a last minute cod fix in before the season closes. What else can I say? I've done bloody good so far. I don't know how I do it off the top of my head. Is that what you wanted me to say? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go and see if our snapper can catch a fish. Make sure you get out this weekend, folks. It's the last weekend, as I said, and I'm going to say it again and again because it's just too nice not to get out at the moment. <laughs> Oh my god, that bull's got an erection and it's coming straight for me. <laughs> Hello. G'day Snapper. How are you Robbie? I'm fantastic and what's your take of the situation? What do you think? Is the river looking good? Oh mate, I haven't seen it this good for five, six years this time of year. Looking that's great. That's fishing slow but it's looking fantastic isn't it? Mate. Now the pressure's not on, but you need to catch a big cod for the camera just oh, to make yeah. this video that little bit more interesting. <laughs> I hope you got more luck than me, mate. <laughs> for anyone watching, this is Brett Corker. He's one of my best mates. He's an absolute gem, and I love my time on the river with Brett. We don't always catch fish, but Brett usually does. <laughs> he usually outfishes me, but that's okay. What he doesn't know is that I let him, because it's good for his confidence to catch more than me, so I let him <laughs> do it. Right. I thought you were on for a minute then. Righty, eh? Well, snipper let us down. I gave him a couple of casts. Now I'm going to show you how to catch a cod on a number one stump jumper with the very first cast. No pressure, the pressure's not on. First cast in the middle of August. I landed about eight feet from the bank, so I don't like any chances. <laughs> Didn't quite go to plan. Let's try the second cast. Maybe the third cast. Fifth cast. <laughs> that's in the zone, that's, in, that's the one. Four thousand three hundred and ninety second cast.
1,347,645th cast. A big double handed, that's called an over gum cast, where you cast it in and it actually goes over a gum. I think sometimes these cod like to hold in these red gums about five foot above the water. Oh, he's got it! Oh, look at this, he's got it! What a save! What a save! Did you see that snapper? That landed just in the right spot, that if it wasn't for that bloody tree. Hey look, I've even got a souvenir. I reckon the koalas get drunk eating gum leaves. Oh, it's like licking the lid on a Vicks bloody jar or something. Righto, here's Brett, his old snapper, making his last cast of the day. Can he make it count? Pressure, pressure. Hey Snapper, why don't cannibals eat clowns? No idea. Because they taste funny. <laughs> uh, you a in, Robbie. <laughs> I think I might have read that in a Christmas bonbon one year. Hey, what's this extra cast business? That last one was the last one. You're starting to sound like a rock star or something. Now they make their retirement, then they come back. But hey, you're Tony Lockett or something. <laughs> this is the last cast, then you have another cast. Like Tony Lockett retires, then comes back. 